So last night I was flashing Marlin 1.1.6 to my Anet A8 3D printer's motherboard and it came up with an error message saying it failed to verify the checksum on the EEPROM after it wrote to it. So I powered it off and powered it back on and this is what I have. All white squares across my display. I've completely taken my Anet main board out and hooked it up to a 12 volt battery and I've tried reflashing but when I plug the Anet board into the USB cable it detects on COM8. So the Marlin firmware will compile but when I go verifying that it's an Anet version 1 on the right COM when you go to upload it I get a STK 500 error, not in sync, whatever the hell the error is. You see here I get an STK 500 underscore receive programmer is not responding. STK get sync attempt one of 10, not in sync. And it'll do it 10 times and it'll time out and give you an error. What is causing the screen to look like this and the board not to boot into the Marlin firmware is a corrupt bootloader because this board is just a big Arduino board basically and the bootloader got corrupted when I flashed unsuccessfully the latest version of Marlin to it. So I'll take a Arduino Nano hook it up to these pins right here and see if I can flash the bootloader to this. So just like in a previous video I made when I had to reflash the bootloader on a Arduino Nano this is basically the same thing you have to hook up the wires to the various pins and this is how you hook the wires up plug in your Arduino Nano open up Arduino IDE so you want to flash the ANET V1 board make sure that is selected find the COM of your Arduino Nano then select Arduino as an ISP then select burn bootloader if you get this error it means these two boards didn't sync up correctly so try it again select bootloader or burn bootloader again and the second time it should work. It says done burning bootloader. So let's see if we corrected this uh, problem. Disconnect everything. And you see it says it's done uploading. I have a display. Let's power it down, power it back up. I flash Marlin 115 on here. Hopefully, there we go. Perfect. Let's flash Marlin 116. See if that is a problem or not. And this is the part that failed the last time I tried flashing Marlin 116 on here, is reading the on-chip on flash. Awesome. There we go. Success, success, and done. And there we go. Recovered the ANET board to Marlin 116. So this is how you recover your ANET A8 main board or any type of Arduino board if you brick it.
and have a corrupted bootloader.